go. Okay, first of all, this attack took place. Uh, I'm speaking from my uh, sitting room, you might say. It's my, it's my, my study, my dining room, everything all in one. It's a small apartment. Uh, I, I want you to know that the attack took place on, in Eretz Israel, what is a combination of Shmini Atzeret and Simchas Torah. The davening is very long. It starts early in the morning because we have to have Hallel, and then we have to have the laning. You have to have Simchas Torah, Ato Haresa, all the Hakafos. Then you have to have benching of Geshem. You have to have Yizkar, benching of, I'm sorry, Yizkar, benching of Geshem. It's a very long davening. So we started at seven o'clock in the morning. At about 8.15, a siren went off. I didn't understand what it was. It sounded to me like a typical ambulance running down 13th Avenue. But it was a loud siren, and everyone in the shul immediately said, El Ameklat. We go down to the basement where there is a safe area, where there's a shul in the Miklat, and the entire minion goes down to the Miklat. And I, I asked my son-in-law, what's going on? And he explained that this was a siren. We didn't know what it was from, but we know that the siren went off and it means that there may be uh, aerial bombardment from somewhere. We didn't know where, what, when or what. And, and we went immediately into the Miklat. There was an all clear in a very short time, about five minutes. And we went back to Shul and Davin again. Someone had a cell phone on because they were a first responder, uh, whether in Atsala or in the IDF. And they told us that the reason that the uh, siren went off was because uh, there was a, a surprise attack in down in Gaza and there are hundreds of casualties. Okay. And, the, and the, and the uh, Hamas has been shooting uh, scuds and other things at all over Eretz Israel, hundreds and hundreds of missiles. In a short time, we heard a tremendous bang where when the, the Iron Dome intercepted some missiles and knocked them out of commission. And we understood that was a real war going on and we didn't have any information because it was Yontif. Nobody had a radio, just some members of, like I said, Hatzalah or first responders they, some of the first responders immediately had to leave because they were called up for duty and we knew that this was a dangerous situation. There was another man there who did have a radio and he reported that uh, Netanyahu had declared that we are at war. The, uh, the sirens went on and off about four or five times. We ended up, uh, there was a period of about an hour where there was nothing, so we ended up going... Uh, back to the shul. Then we once again had to go down to the miklat. We had the rest of our kafas, very short our kafas, one time around for each our And uh, then there was a kiddush, believe it or not, you know, the Jews can't do without kiddush. So there was a kiddush and uh, everybody uh, wished everybody a wonderful Simchat Torah and immediately went home because we didn't know what was going on. For the next few hours, there were no other uh, sirens. And there were no other uh, interruptions. We didn't know what was going on because none of us had a radio, but we knew that the situation was dire. And before we left the shul, we all said to heal him, and we went home and ate the suda. Uh, we came back from Mincha. Uh, Mincha was in the main shul. There were no sirens. Uh, right after Mincha, uh, there was a learning period of time, some shalashudas, and then we immediately went home after Myrav. And we turned on the, uh, the phones and the radio, whatever, and we were able to get whatever information we could. And so then uh, we even managed to get home. I was by my daughter's house, and we, we, we managed to get home. So that's, that's the basic thing what happened. One thing I want to emphasize at the beginning is that we read on Simchas Torah, Pashas, Vizos HaBracha. And at the end of it, everyone said at the end of the Aliyah, of Chosan Torah, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazek, that we should be strong. And we are going to have to be strong because the biggest problem that we're facing here 
is the problem of the hostages. We heard there were hostages. We had no idea of how many yet, but after Yom Tif, we found out immediately that there were at least 100, maybe 200 hostages, men, women, and children, many of them wounded. Oh. And they were taken hostages by uh, Hamas, which is a, a, an organization that is in the same category as the Nazis, Yimach Shemam V'Zichram, when it comes to concern for well-being and life. And we, our hearts were broken because of the hostages. We knew that uh, with the help of Hashem and the IDF following the proper procedures, despite the debacle of the attack, they could take care of it. But the hostages complicated and made things almost impossible to deal with. And that has been the same to this point. So in that sense, things haven't changed. And the reality is that that is our biggest problem, the hostages. How do we do what we have to do in Gaza, which according to almost all leading authorities, both in the religious and secular Jewish world, the IDF, everyone's together on this. Hamas must be eliminated. But yet we have the hostages, which is a, a complicated, and they knew it, and they knew it. And we were outsmarted, I hate to say it, but we were, or we acted dumb, I don't know what, and, and I have no idea, I'm not judging, I don't know. Uh, uh, whatever it is, we were left with this particular problem right now. And so all the davening that we do at this point is uh, di geared directly for the purpose of seeing to it that we recognize the importance of trying to save the hostages as best as possible. There's no question that in time to come, in weeks to come, in months to come, in Yetz Hashem, Hashem will help us be victorious. There's no question that a, 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 a deep, deep investigation must take place to find out what happened. So many lives have been lost. So many innocent people, not combatants, the, 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 the uh, terrorists, the terrorists came into homes where men and women were sitting with their children around the Yomtev table and just massacred them, all of them, without question. Nobody had a chance to know what was going on. This is the type of uh, uh, subhuman that we're dealing with. And, and this was a terrible, terrible blow to Klal Yisrael. Now, the people now are all walking around sort of in a state of terror and shock. Everyone. Now, here in Yerushalayim, it's basically safe. There have been a few. Uh, today, we did have to go into the sealed rooms. If you have one in your apartment, you can go into the sealed room, which is a concrete reinforced bunker. Uh, the newer houses uh, do have these safe rooms, these miklat, and you can be safe in them. But Hopefully, you don't have to spend too much time in them. But but nevertheless, it's a terror, no matter what. It's a terror. And and the, 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 the activities in the, in the street and among people have been curtailed to a large degree. People are not going spazering or touring or shopping. Many stores are closed. The schools are closed because so many of the teachers are in the IDF and they, they can't open the schools. There are some Zoom classes. My daughter, who has a great sense of humor, at the same time was trying to explain how difficult it is to have your children at home and not to go to school. She said, if this continues much longer, the IDF won't have to lift a finger. All the mothers in the state of Israel are going to just wipe out Gaza so we can get back to school. You know, you have to have a sense of humor a little bit too. But, but the fact is that, that it's, it, the society is somewhat at a standstill and everyone's walking around with a concerned look on their face. In shul, uh, the davening is very heartfelt. Uh, at the end of each tefillah, there are tehillim and tefillos for the IDF, for the wounded, for the captured, for Klal Yisrael, after each 
davening. And as we know, the Jewish people, uh, the, the, the power is in the speech and the words that we use. And Hashem created us, as it says in this week's Sedja, uh, that Vayipach Pa'apav Nishmas Ruach Hayim, Hashem blew into the nostrils a spirit of life. The Targum Unklus translates it as Ruach Memalala, the ability to speak and to use our speech in order to make things somewhat better. And that's what we do. We say to Ilam, we daven, we try to avoid saying bad to anyone and bad about anyone. We do everything we can to increase our observance of Hashem's commandments and turn to Him and, and beg Him to lead our leaders in the right path and to give them the wisdom to deal with this terribly, terribly great problem with so many overtones of difficulty and, and how can we be victorious and we need to be victorious. There is a strong positive spirit amongst the IDF, despite the fact that we've lost so many soldiers, fathers, husbands, young men. There was a, there was a video, it's probably viral by now, of a young man who on Zoom was actually making a bracha over the bris of his son back home while he was in the IDF going to fight for Claude Yisrael. The bris was on the Zoom and he was making the brachas on the Zoom. So this is Claude Yisrael. We have this unbelievable power when we get together and when we're united. Uh, to all my, my dear, dear Ms. Palalim and friends, members, all from the youngest of Bethel of Bar Park, my heart is with you. Uh, I appreciate the calls of people who came, called me today and wanted to find out how we are, Baruch Hashem, we're okay, and we hope everyone there is okay. We hope all Klai Yisrael will be okay. Uh, but it is a very difficult time, and I urge every Jew who can to become maybe just infinitesimally better, just a little bit, one extra capital till of a day, one extra learning session, one extra kavana in davening, one kindness to another Jew, one helpful action to help Klai Yisrael become united. There is a tremendous outpouring of love from one Jew to the other amongst the Jews here in Eretz Yisrael. Everyone is super sensitive and kind to each other. People who normally you might not say hello to, if, they, if, they, if you're out, uh, I take a walk every morning after davening, I pass men and women walking their dogs, you know, you, you can you can say Shema Yisrael while you're walking your dog too. But I say to them, okay, oh, how are you? And people respond, and it, it helps bring a unity amongst Klal Yisrael. Okay, so I've said enough. There's a lot more to talk about if I wanted to, but I'd like to open the floor uh, to any questions or concerns uh, and ideas you might have. Oh, one more thing. One more thing I will say before we sign, give it over. And that is, I've spoken to some very important uh, people who are journalists, uh, leaders uh, amongst Klai Yisrael, and, and they're all hoping for the best. They're all saying the resilience and the power of Klai Yisrael to rebound and to, to, seize, to seize victory from the jaws of defeat is great. And we hope and pray that that's exactly what will happen soon, speedily in our time. Okay, you can unmute yourself now. If you have any questions, if there's anything I can help you uh, to respond to in terms of what's going on here in Eretz Israel. You can unmute in order to speak. Are there, are there, is, there any, is there any hope for the hostages? I'm sorry, what? Is there... Is there any hope for the hostages? Is there hope? There's always hope. There's always hope. Uh, the nations of the world are at this point very strong against Hamas. Will that influence them? I don't know, but they did release two hostages. So two more than were before. Is there hope? There's always hope. There have been miracles with hostages in the past. Let's hope it will happen again. 
There's so many that they took. Wow. This time. Excuse me, can I ask a question? Was there any uh, announcement about the prospects of a unity government? Were there, uh, Are there any what? That they were, of, a, of a unity there government. The there, is, there is a move to possibly form a unity government. Like an emergency unity government to, to deal more strongly with the situation in a more focused way. Uh -huh. Thank you. It's possible it will help. I... I I, I am not privileged uh, with enough wisdom or knowledge about the political situation here to comment on that. Uh, if it'll help, I'm all for it. Rabbi, I, yes. di I, di I didn't know there were so many, so many hostages. You're saying almost 200. I thought there was yes. only 50. I, di I can't no. imagine now it's terrible. You know, 50 was bad it's, enough, but it's now it's held by 200. At this point, there are 150 confirmed hostages. Oh, oh wow. Well. We Men, we would... women, and children. We heard on the news that they came in from 15 places. How was it possible if the wall was being guarded? How did that happen? And how did it take so, many, <laughs> so much time until they were able to uh, respond? That is... The question that's on everyone's mind. Where so, was the failure in watchfulness? What happened? Were we outsmarted to the nth degree? That's what it looks like. Uh, there are uh, people in the know who claim that once the dust clears and the Hashem, Hashem helps us to achieve a clear victory, there are those who say heads are going to roll. Too late. It, 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 it's, it's unfathomable that such a thing took place. Right. Rebbe, like the Rebbe said with Sholem, because of the people believe that because of the Maslaika are between the, the people, that is where I, they were able to get in. Yeah, there are a lot of questions. Rebbe? Yes? I heard a source from someone who lives in Israel that the cameras, the security cameras, were blown away, and therefore they were able to penetrate and infiltrate because nobody knew what was happening. Again, anything's possible. Uh... I, I didn't hear that, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, anything is possible. This was a well-planned uh, operation on the part of uh, Hamas and Iran, I would suppose. Uh, it's clear that uh, it was directly to the day, 50 years after the Yom Kippur War. Right. Uh, yeah. I... I I don't have a handle on how it happened. I know what we're dealing with. What we're dealing with is Jews being held hostage and Jews being under fire and thousands of lives either already or still fighting and may be lost, a large, a large loss of life. And, and this war is not over. Uh, it's it's going to be a... The way we understand it, it is a, it is not a one or two day or six day war. And we need all Jews all over the world to, to take a step back and say, what can I do to make the world a better place? What can I do as a Jew to make me a better Jew? and therefore make the world a better place. And, and that will help. Uh, we have seen the Jewish people uh, have miracles happen to them in our own lifetimes. The very, the very fact that I am here and speaking to you, the very fact that there is an Israel, the very fact that 100 years ago, 100 years ago, 
There was no IDF. There was no State of Israel. There was no home for the Jewish people. 200 years ago, there wasn't even a dream in the minds of the most ardent Jews that one day we would be in our own homeland fighting for our right to live here. The miracles that have taken place over these last 250, 200 years, 100, even, even 50 years are unprecedented in annals of Jewish history. The, the large segment of Jews that are good, wonderful people living here in Eretz Israel, even those who are not overly, overtly or overly religious, there's a certain camaraderie amongst all Jews. Uh, uh, in the past few weeks, you know, I don't, I mean, nobody likes to think of themselves as old, but you know, I get on a bus and, and a bunch of kids jump up to give me a seat, you know, <laughs> and I say to them, sit down, you know. <laughs> but the fact is that, that they are concerned, not necessarily religious people, just good people, nice people. Uh, can I, I have a package, I'm holding my hand. Uh, can I help you? I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable what kindness exists uh, amongst the Jewish people. Uh, the other day we, we got stuck in a traffic jam. Uh, we were on a bus and, and there was a, a parade on Sukkos of non-Jews celebrating tabernacles, <laughs> which of course is Sukkos. And, and these, these Christians are blocking for their yomtiv, you know, the, the, the main street in Yerushalayim. And, and the bus driver told people, you know, this is going to take an hour, you, be, you better get off and walk, you'll get home faster. But we had packages, we couldn't get off. And so he took us roundabout and finally found a way to get us home. It took an hour, but, and he was an Arab driver for the bus company. And he was very pleasant and kind to all of us. And it, and it worked out well. It's possible in Eretz Israel to have this happen, that an Arab can be concerned about the Jews on his bus and to get us home. It was a Jewish bus, Eged bus, but that's the way it is. There can be peace over here. It can work. And, and we need all the tefillos of all Claudia Israel to join together to help make it work. And, and all of our millions of brothers and sisters in, in, in outside Eretz Israel and the hundreds of thousands in Eretz Israel need to be joined together. Those who live here, th those who live in, in the United States, to join together and to try to be a little bit better, a little more concerned about our fellow Jew and a little bit more concerned about helping each other to become one United Nation. Amen. One call you, sir. Amen. 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 In I, I, I hope I'm able to, uh, I, my, my main goal here was to give you some chizuk, that it's possible. Yes, you we, did. We hope, we hope to get some victory out of this. It's difficult, and it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult for a while, but I want you to know that with your prayers and the davening of all others, and the love that we have one for the other, the concern that we have one for the other, to help another person, to, to help Klai Yisrael, to be united, that will make a difference for Klai Yisrael. And we're looking forward to that. Despite all the difficulties, we're going to see that when we start gracious, it's going to be the beginning of a new reading of the Torah, a new loyalty to the Torah, and a new hope for Klai Yisrael. I want to wish you all Mamish, a wonderful, wonderful, uh, good week, uh, upcoming Shabbos Bereshis, Shabbos Mavarach, a brand new month. Uh, today, here in Eretz Israel, we had a little drizzle, which is a sign that the rains are coming and, and the, the land will sprout. And once again, we will see the beauty of Eretz Israel. Now, it's possible that at some point in the future, I will have another opportunity to join together with you uh, to have another Zoom, this time with a little less technical difficulty. And hopefully, uh, if you have any issues that you'd like to speak about at that time, we'll certainly try to help answer any questions you have. So have a Rebbe. great day. The rest of your day. Best I'll regards to the Rebbe. Best regards to the Thank Rebbe. Thank you. Well, the Rebbe, since Rebbe. 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 Rebbe
we're 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 we're, we're doing well. Rabbi, so, I just yeah. want to say one thing, and I hope you don't get embarrassed. I'm already you're embarrassed. All, first of all, you will you will <laughs> always be our rub. Amen. I'm and I and I always tell Mordechai, Lo Hoya Belo Yia. Harry, I can say the same about you. There will never be another Harry. That's oh, you. you can say I that again. Maybe that. people say so. No. Rabbi Snow, I mean that in a positive way. Rabbi Snow, you may, I you may you want, I want, I want to tell you that Simchas Torah, one of the Hakafos, I think probably the only shul in Bar Park where they sang the old Am Yisrael Chai. Yes, yes. It was very yeah. hard yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. I as long as as long as Od Avinu Chai, I'm Yisrael. Yes, yes. Rabbi, before sure. the Rabbi goes, maybe we should all say on Zoom one capital till him a pasuk by pasuk. That's a great idea. I think Beryl, that's a great idea. I just Very want to tell everybody who, if you were not in shul this morning, we said uh, several extra kapitlach tilim and achenu kobeis yisrael, the entire shul that was there this morning. So anyway, right. Very good. Tomorrow Baruch morning, Hashem. Tilim will be very helpful. Yes. Baruch Hashem. It's wonderful. Do that. We, yes. We, in our shul, we did the same thing and we added the tefillah for the safety of the IDF. And, the Mishabera. Mishabera. Right. Right. Yeah, David Crucial. suggested Crucial. that. I don't know if we ended up. Uh, Crucial. Yeah, go ahead. Do it. Crucial. Crucial. So let's do Have one. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Be well. Rabbi, let's do one. To, uh, Rabbi, to, uh, Rabbi, we yeah. want to say, uh, Beryl said, and I think it's a good idea, if we say together, Pasuk by Pasuk, uh, uh, one, one cup of the Hillam. Which one? Okay, would you join me, please? Join me, please, at the Hillam. Of Lam Natseach, Mizmar Ladovid. It can be found in your sitter between Ashrei and Uvolat Sion. And it's the Pasuk that ends with Ashrei. Which Yom is it? 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 Which Lead us in that Tehillim, please. I don't, I, you know, I don't have a, I'm, I'm by in my car and I don't have a, the uh, the capital in front of me to say it. I mean, I know it by heart. Rabbi, but... uh, you know it by heart. Go ahead, go. Why don't you say it, Rabbi? Why don't we? Yes, please, we want to say it after you. I, yes, we want to say it after you. I, I haven't heard Jeff, Jeff, beautiful you, Rabbi. voice in, in so long. I figured I'll. No, I'll hear, no, no. Uh, rabbi, it's in it's want, rabbi, you are Rav, and you it's should do it. It's Kapitel Chav. It's in Tillim. It's chapter 20. For those okay. of you who have a Tillim, it's a short little okay. Kapitel. Yeah. All right? Okay. Join me, please, together. We'll say it, Pasuk by Pasuk. Lam Natseach, Mizmoh Ledovit. Yam Chod, we just read it says that there are those who have uh, chariots and those who have horses but we call out in the name of Hashem so what does this mean the Vilna Gon, no less an authority than the Vilna Gon said what do you mean People are coming at you with chariots and horses, and you're going to stand there and say, I believe in God, while they run you through with a sword. What, what, what does the Pasuk mean? What did David Amela say when he said this? So the Vilna Gaon answered so beautifully, and he said, it's the same as the Pasuk in Eshes Chayil, where it says, Sheker Achein, the Hevel Ayofi, Isha Yira Sashem Hitis Halo. What does that mean? 
Sheker achem, favor is false. Beauty is nothing. Is that so? It's not so. So the Vilna going to explain both psukim the same way. Sheker achem ve'hevel ayofi. If all you've got is favor and beauty, that's sheker. It's all false, right? Isha yiras Hashem. But if she's got chen and she's beautiful and she fears Hashem, he tishalol, she deserves praise. The same thing goes here. Ela barechev. There are those who believe in chariots. The Ela basusim. And there are those who put their trust in horses. Va'anachnu. And we do also. We need missiles. We need air force. We need chariots. We need guns. We need power. But we don't stop there. Ela barechev, ela basusim. Va'anachnu. And we... B'shem Hashem Lekein and Azkir. We call out in the name of Hashem with the guns and with the missiles and with the power because the missiles and the guns and the power themselves are nothing without our calling out in the name of Hashem. In 1948, we didn't have guns. We had to use pitching machines to throw mortars at the Arabs. There's a Davidka right in the center of Yerushalayim and Kodesh. A Davidka is nothing more than a modified pitching machine that they used to use to test batters in throwing back a, a speedball. So it has an arm and it throws, and they put mortars in there to throw at the Arabs, and that's how they won the 48 War of Independence. They had the same orders we have. So that's what we need to do. Let's say our Tilim, let's put our faith in Hashem. get together at some time in the future, maybe later this week. Uh, I'll certainly send out a video before Shabbos and Yetz Hashem, and I hope that maybe we'll have another Zoom next week as the war begins to unfold and we see more if I have any more information, I'd be happy to share it with my beloved friends at the Young Israel Beth El Park. So have a very good night, everybody. Rabbi Yasukoya. Thank you. Rabbi the Rabbits who stay safe. 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 Stay saf